Hello guys, this is Pap from Pap back at it again and as I told you I would have uh, I would have had a video about this. Here we go with the Excel sync with the blue eyes Trishula. Here we go with some replays, uh, a couple from the stream and, uh, and another couple from uh, off screen of course. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, that in my opinion is the best way to play uh, Blue Eyes right now. If you just don't want to play all those cancerous trap cards, you can play this, it's funnier. Uh, and to be honest, Trisha is always something nice to summon during your opponent's turn, right? So guys, before jumping right into it, just a quick reminder, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it, and it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So of course, I'm here with... Uh, uh, Sarah Kaiba from DSOT, Blue Eyes Trishula. So, what I did compare, what I changed compared to the version that I was using on stream was to play more tuner because I realized that a little bit later, without the tuner, you can't do nothing. Because, uh, I mean, we do not need to play more level one special summon because. In theory, we have this that counts as a level 1 non-tuna, as you can summon the token with this. So we, in theory, we play like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 monster non-tuner. And then we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tuners in order to make the deck the more balanced as possible. Uh, two blue eyes are, are fine, otherwise you break, basically. Uh, double Dragon Revine, love it. Uh, the third one with Terraforming. But if you have the third one, I would probably play the third Dragon Revine uh, because it is crucial. Um, while I have to say, while the Crackdown on a side enables some cool plays and they can actually win games alone, but we know that. The thing is, they could not be the best option. Uh, for example, if you go against the full board of speed droids, having a crackdown won't help you that much. So you could rather change this. I mean, I think that if I had a third dragon revine, I would probably go with a third dragon revine, like I can't have another one, and probably play something to endure turn one. I could either go with Dark Hole. Yep, or Book of Moon. Probably a classic couple of Book of Moons could be just better, to be honest. That, that, that's the, the truth, because they can help you go in second. Because if you go first, you really don't need the Crackdown, as you're going, actually, if you set up the play with Trishula, you banish Tree, you really do not need a Crackdown as well, right? You know what I mean? So it's maybe it's just better to use these slots instead of the Crackdown, you just play... Probably it's better to play the Book of Moons, just because they can be used on turn 1 as well, to be honest. For the actual deck, guys, we're playing double Trishula, uh, because you can actually summon a couple in a long duel. That's why we have double Formula Synchron. Um, one, a Red Rose Dragon that is the best option during your opponent's turn, in case we do not have the additional level 1 and we just have the Formula Synchron plus the Blue Eyes White Dragon, basically. Not that bad. But of course, he makes your ultimate dragons actually useless because once that you summon Red Rose Dragon, you banish everything. You're gonna banish your Blue Eyes White Dragon as well, so no actually chance to go into the ultimate dragons to grab a poly out of nowhere and fuse your double Blue Eyes, uh, double Dragon Divine, and also keep in mind the ruins counts as a back row as well in a certain way because it can negate the effect of monsters that do not activate on summon so because if an effect of an opponent's monster activates on summon that effect is gonna be chained to the effect of ruins of divine dragon lord so that effect is gonna resolve first um and so before the effect of ruins so it's not gonna be negated but for example if you're putting someone in galatea the effect of galatea to search an arc spell trap card does not activate on summon so if you have the ruins and a blue eyes of course you get to negate galatea and you cannot search so in that case it becomes really nice to have 
uh, for the last part of the action stack we have the classic uh, Link Rebo because it can be a nice, a decent turn one, just a way to send your stone to the graveyard. And also we have the Phoenix to pop a back row and Unicorn to shuffle anything. So pretty nice, pretty uh, generic and standard. Like these two are just like staple monsters, right? So, and that's it guys. Um, really love this to be honest best way to, blue, to play blue eyes and the more that i play this i am the more com the more i am convinced that we're gonna get some blue eyes support in the next election so really stay tuned for that um we're gonna see i mean if it's selection exclusive i don't think i'm gonna buy it though but still um still guys that is all I hope you enjoyed this of course of course if you have the sage play that even though the master with the eyes of blue enables some cool plays from the graveyard also he enables recycling the the himself so maybe maybe master with the eyes of blue can just be better in this case because you really do not want to have the tuner in your hands i mean if you summon the sage and you had the tuner in your hands what's that for maybe just to thin your deck before drawing with formula synchron that could be a thing but maybe not so it's just better the master with the eyes of blue that from the graveyard it's just something good uh anyway guys that is all of course i leave uh, i leave you to the replays for to see the full combo uh that i'm gonna explain of course so stay tuned for that let me know what you think in the comment section down below and let's jump right into the replays here we go my boys first replay this was an action duel actually this was the replay from the stream uh, i was really nice let's see what we are. I was playing still with the white stone of legend so uh just replace those with uh, the master with the eyes of blue it's just better because you do not want to have you do not want to have the deep blue eyes by dragon in uh, to your hand so dragon ravine with the terraforming then going into dragon ravine to discard blue eyes to send the stone to have the blue eyes white dragon summon in the end phase of course that's why i do not want that to happen i do not want to have a blue eyes white dragon in my hand that's why i took out those um and we have the stone imagine that is just a master with the eyes of blue well going into formula synchron um again the effect of uh, the um the effect of the uh, formula single to draw a card and this is the issue I just had a second blue eyes while drawing to my hand the ruins to have that using the ruins to send the to revive to the graveyard and have actually the token level one sending the crackdown now in this version I was playing three blue eyes as well so I was chilling but of course just play two and the master of blue eyes so this is the combo basically so you have you want to have the stone in the graveyard a formula synchron uh, the stone in the graveyard to summon the blue eyes level eight the formula synchron enables the XL synchro and then you need just one that is provided by the token or if you draw another of the uh, turbo boosters that's it and you have 11 so it just went with that as you can see summoning the Ursartic Mega Billis at this point ruins to negate that formula synchrons Axel synchro into Trishula banish of one two three that's how you do it and just that easy um, you went with Monster Reborn to steal my blue eyes, but guess what? I can just crack down that and take it back to my hand. Now I can just go Ultimate Dragons, creating a poly out of nowhere. Fusion summoning, of course, into the blue eyes. Ultimate Dragon for the meme, the Dream and Paps team. And of course, we're gonna finish this guy out with the blue eyes Ultimate Dragon. Neutron Blast, that's how you do it my boys, there you go, second duel, this was the, it's actually 6 wins in a row, King of Games run, keep in mind that, and it's us to go first, we have a pretty good hand, because we have the Revine, we have the Ruins, so at least we're gonna have the Ruins plus the Blue Eyes by Dragon, right, so, there you go, we went with the Ruins, uh, first we summoned the, 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 the stone, uh, then we used the Revine just to send it to the graveyard with the Ruins in order to have the token, then Formula Synchro Summon, we're just hoping for uh, a, actually not this, because now we do not have the Formula Synchron combo, but we have Kyroid, 
And I was playing that as well during the stream. I was trying different stuff. So keep in mind that the best version is just the one that you see in the Chris breakdown. Just keep in mind this could have been a Truba booster and I would have had the combo straight away. So we have just level 10. But look at what happens because our boy is playing Dustin Hero. He summons Dreamer. Perfect. Level 1. So I just stole that. Uh, to have Trishula ready, there you go. As soon as you use Destiny effect, use first malicious effect, wrong choice, because now I can just use Formula Synchron's effect in order to Synchro Summon my Trishula, banish one, two, and the Poly as well. That was just everything we needed. It's not done yet though, because he's got the Destiny drop, but still nothing to do. The White Zone to take back the Blue Eyes, plus the one that we drew. Ultimate Dragon is here, we can just poly that out into Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon in order to have lethal. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Third duel, my boys, we have Playmaker with Wall. Let's see what he's playing. So it's him to go first. He's got reinforcement of the army. So this is Crusadia. Let's speed things up. Let's see how many how much stuff he's gonna do. Uh Crusadia Magius plus the Herboria. Then he went with the Regulex, um Drago and Recycling the Maximus with the Crawler, had the two end, uh, and then he went of course with the, the uh, Crusade, the Crusadia Equimax in order to have the negation. So he's got the triple back row plus the negation of Equimax. I can just tribute this card and target a car, a face up card. Uh, my your opponent controls, it's me. Uh, negate its effect. So we have to play through that. Uh, we got the Dragon Rebind to begin with. Then I summon the Stone. Plus the Trooper Booster, boom, draw into Formula Synchron to have the draw card. I went into the Ruins, and at this point he went with the Equimax to negate the Ruins. I don't know why, honestly, but still. I went with the Trooper Boost. Maybe he went with that because he didn't want me to have to summon the token, because he was maybe expecting that. So I, but I had the Trooper Boost Warrior because I was playing this as well as the Trooper Booster. Um, he's got the Crawler to have an additional negation uh, and to grab a Wood Legacy Succession, as you can see right there. So at this point in the end phase, the Stone enables the Summon of a Blue Eyes by Dragon. We have the 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 the, 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 the field ready for Trishula. He went straight away into Spatha, but as soon as he done this, I can just uh, negate that first thing first, then Wood Legacy Succession to summon that. That. We're still chilling. Um, then it's got the Draco's effect to recycle that. The spot has its effect negated because as a, the effect is, does not activate on summon. So now this guy is negated for the whole turn. We don't care about that. And um, Formula Synchron at this point into Trishula to banish the... Uh, he went with the Crusadia power to protect his monster. We don't care because it's negated anyway. So we banished those cards. Uh, Olo Tree is summoned another monster, the Reclusia this time, uh, to force the Crackdown. Actually to pop the Crackdown, so just pop that. Maybe I should have used the Crackdown on that, but as soon as he summoned the other monster, he just surrendered because there's nothing he could do after the triple banish of Trishula. That's how you do it, my boy. There you go. Last but not least, we have Tori Meadows. What is she playing? Let's see. We have the monster to begin with, uh, with the boost warden. Imagine it's just a turbo booster, it's the same. And I went Formula Synchron to draw a card, and we uh, unfortunately do not have the combo because we needed the stone. We just missed the blue eyes, right? So I went first with uh, the uh, ruins, um, then I went with that. But keep in mind that I could have done it i could have done it different so stay with me so if you summon the formula synchron not in the uh, extra monsters loan what could have i done what i could have done was to summon the formula synchron here okay uh, i send the blue eyes back to the graveyard recycling the ruins of divine dragon lords okay then i could have used the first token to summon a link Rebo. okay are you with me then we use the, um, uh, then we can use the effect of the second ruins to send one of the other ruins back to graveyard. We activate this again, we send this, we summon another token. And then we use the effect of Master with the Eyes of Blue, sending the Link Rebo to the graveyard because he has to be an effect monster, okay? And you summon the Blue Eyes, so we have the combo. So keep in mind that when you have double ruins, you can actually end the Master with the Eyes of Blue 
If you happen to have the Blue Eyes White Dragon in your hand and you manage to send it to the graveyard, you can actually use that in order to go with uh, the uh, Trishula combo anyway. So it turned out this was a Red Eyes Black Dragon. So it's got the Black Sun of Legend to begin with when uh, going into the uh, Red Eyes to pop my Formula Synchron, still fine. Uh, we got the Terraforming, as you can see, to grab a Dragon Ravine. And then we went with the uh, Dragon Ravine, uh, using that to send the Blue Eyes to the graveyard. Then Link Rebo is here. Uh, so we can use the effect now of Masters with the Eyes of Blue to send the Link Rebo to the graveyard. Boom! We have Blue Eyes White Dragon back on the field, Ruins to summon another token, and then um, oh, we can just attack. It's got cracked down, unfortunately. We can use the effect of Link Rebo to summon him back, at least to have a perfection. But also, we have the other summon of Blue Eyes White Dragon from the graveyard, thanks to the stone that was sent to the graveyard this turn with the Dragon Ravine. He's got Red Eyes Fusion to so go into Red Eyes Lash, but guess what? We have the Blue Eyes, we have the Ruins, so this is negated. So, this means that when these attack, he cannot keep a Warrior Time Monster from his graveyard. That's what it means. So there you go, it was negated. At this point, he can't attack. He knows that he can't attack with the blue eyes because Crackdown does not allow him to attack. So we got the Ruins to send that to the graveyard. And then we went with the Master with the eyes of blue. And then there you go. We recycled a stone, then Synchro Summon into Formula Synchron. Uh, to draw a card, then Master with the Eyes of Blue to send the Link Rebo to the graveyard. So Blue Eyes White Dragon is here. Second Druids to send the other one to summon another token. Guess what? This is 11 on the field. Trishula Zero is coming on the field to punish the Crackdown, the Set Monster, and the other Trap card because we don't care about this. This is useless. Uh, and we banish the Crackdown to get, to, to get the control of Black, Blue Eyes White Dragon back again. We just went on attacking. Keep in mind that now, even if he special summoned something, he has his effect negated. Don't forget about that. He went with the Black Stone of Legend, recycling that back to his hands, but he can only use the effect once. He went with the Disciple to actually pop my Blue Eyes, but that is not that much of an issue. I just summoned the, the stone, Link Rebo, and I have lead that I can just attack this. I used the action card, but still I didn't need that. I can just attack with Trishula, of course, and then with Link Rebo, and I have lethal. So, just how you do it, my boys. There you go. So, guys, I I don't think this is card worthy. Uh, unfortunately, it's just too much. It's too hard. Uh, but I still think you can have so a lot of fun uh, in uh, in the platinum rank, especially platinum rank and lower. You're gonna get some cheesy wins, and you can get some wins in legend rank too. But it's just too much to reach king of games. Anyway, I think this is just the best way to play blue eyes white dragon at the moment with the cards that we have. We definitely need more, need more support that I hope is coming soon. Guys, that was all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. Of course, if you have some questions, leave them in the comment section down below because, of course, I'll be glad to help. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.